Of course, the great, the report from Iron Mountain, this was a, published in 1967. This was a parody document, but it read like a real discussion paper. Fletcher Prouty, Colonel Fletcher Prouty, if you remember the movie JFK, he meets X. X is a character based on General, uh, Colonel Fletcher Prouty. He wrote The Secret Team. He exposed a lot of this stuff. I think even um, Kay Griggs mentions his name. But he said they bought 5,000 copies for the Pentagon. People, a lot of people consider that a real document. But it was a parody document. It was begun in 1963 when Kennedy was killed. And in 1967, it was released. And it basically says, look, to keep control of the world's population, we have to continue to have wars. We need the War Powers Act to keep people under control. We need threats of ecological disaster. And the best one is the threat of aliens. Now, I'm not joking. Let's read this little bit here. Okay. The heavily footnoted report concluded that peace was not in the interest of a stable society, that even if a lasting peace could be achieved, it would almost certainly not be in the best interest of society to achieve it. War was a part of the economy. I repeat, war was a part of the economy. Therefore, it was necessary to conceive a state of war for a stable economy. The government, the group theorized, could not, would not exist without war, and nation states existed in order to wage war. War served the vital function of diverting collective aggression. Ah, uh, yes. They recommended credible substitutes and paying a blood price to emulate the economic functions of war. Prospective governments devised alternatives to war. Get this. Including reports of alien life forms. The reintroduction of a euphemized form of slavery consistent with modern technology and political processes, i.e. Fourth Industrial Revolution, UN Smart Cities, and one deemed particularly promising, remember this is 1967, and one deemed particularly promising in gaining the attention of the malleable masses, the threat of, quote, gross pollution of the environment. Why isn't the report from Iron Mountain, Diana West? Kay Griggs, Major Jordan's diaries, uh, Professor Anthony Sutton. Why isn't all this stuff on everyone's lips full time, every time, night and day? Why?